Hello guys, you alright? This is not a card I received, it's a very nice package uh, It still looks brilliant, but I think it got some fault As usual, no signal Let's go and check that Looks as new Now just plug in and test to see if it's working or not but probably as usual my car doesn't have a signal Proctor tips will be find out it's R9 270X 2 gigs version which got a 2 6 pin connector Okay, all is plugged in and now I will try the car. It's three, two, one, go. Okay. Fun, spin for a second. And there you go. We got a picture. Fun is spinning as well. Which looks like Maybe it's like this time. Okay, now I will be plugging my hard drive to see if it can boot on the Windows and accept the driver as well. Here you go. We find what is wrong with this card. And this card actually got a artifact. Do you see that? For this one. I'm sure it will be reflow the help, but you never know. We can still kill the card if we reflow. Remember, you hit 290 Celsius. But I hope we not kill the car. We'll fix this car, and hopefully you will be click like and also subscribe for my channel. I I really really need you. Okay, you can see there is a artifact. Here and here we got a green line. I will be wait till this driver load up. It should be soon and maybe after driver loading up it will be card die because I see that so many times card is working till is driver loading. This is the time when it's actually driver try loading up and it's going to black screen and losing signal at all. Yeah, the card is definitely faulty. I will try the flow which is usually help with this problem. We know this card, it's actually got some signal but once it's loading to windows it's got a green line artifacting and once it's loading the driver, go into black screen. Fix for this one is I hopefully it will be helped to reflow. This card have also just only four screw, nothing else, which will be pretty easy and simply opening. And once I like this, I will be quickly have a look for missing components, just be sure. And because I see the card is actually working, there are probably no missing components at all. Boom. On this one, I think someone try probably change the thermal paste, because usually it's grey. And this one, as you can see, is white. But never mind, that is not a problem, that's it. that is just good idea, always replace your thermal paste. Oh, this one is so sticky, wow. Hopefully it's going to go down easily, look at that, how sticky is it. Okay, nice and clean. Now at the flux. So 
switch on my heat gun best heat gun ever I like them help me fix so many cards like I said my father card is now survived 17 months after this repair no problem at all okay guys 200 degrees Celsius on the chip and after 10 minutes I'm going back Okie dokie, 10 minutes pass, hitting 290 Celsius on the GPU, on the main chip, and 10 seconds for, second for every single memory modules as well. Uh, now it's time to switch off my heat gun, keep cool down about 15 to 20 minutes, don't forget it's most important part, don't move this card now because it's so hot. You wanna make a barbecue? or is your hand is how cold, just stick on the top. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for me as I'll be doing more later on and if you got any more idea what you want to see on this channel just let me know, I will try do my best but for now, wait till cool down, reassemble the card stuck on my test rig and test. Hopefully, artifact will be gone. Ok, now we have this card cool down I will be reapply thermal paste, reapply the heat sink for the memory model. Plug in the fan connector. Use the cross pattern Okay, all is all together Now just plug in the car and see if it's artifact is gone I always plug in first power cable because it's nice and easy this time leave my hard drive on I will leave this time hard drive on power, power cable the graphic card is switch, uh, plug in all of the cable is plug in VGA and now test and see if it's artifact is gone or maybe I kill the card I hopefully not three two, one, go ok, fan is still rotate look at the picture loading windows Hopefully it's success. Guys, remember, subscribe, click like for this video, especially when it's success. And if you need any help, just write a comment below. I'm more than happy to give you any advice, any help with actually anything. <clears throat> oh yeah, Windows update a little bit. Yeah, but we also looks like we already got a driver and as you can see I don't see any artifact anymore looks good looks promising just wait till it's my window starting up look guys are you surprised this reflow help? Look! Nice! Did you see that? And driver is already there because I've got a full HD resolution on my monitor. Remember when it's picture going black? 
It's been the time when it's loading the driver for the, this card. Now because the card is there and it's the, exactly the same car, driver is inside the windows already installed and we got a nice picture. What I will be doing now is actually simply simply check. I hope for obviously my windows is already bought bought in. Come on. <clears throat> Boom. Card is fully rocking nice. On Windows, there is no any glitch, any mark, actually nothing. I know you can read it, but GPU clock is 1070 and memory clock is 1400. Running on Crimson 7.9.2 beta version on Windows 1064 bit version. Okay, because all here is okay, I will try. Full mark. Do a one quick test. Okay, guys. I just try switch on the Witcher free on that card, which got an artifact before, and I wanna show you there is no artifact even on the Witcher free. But as if you remember, my test rig got just only two gigs RAM, and Witcher free running with 2 gigs RAM is not really not really possible but you can see the car doesn't have any artifact and is all good and move for the format text now I will test the full mark full HD quick test just click on go there and you can see that card is working no problem at all GPU temperature is 76, 77 Celsius. Core clock 1070. And FPS on full mark is 44 frames per second. Yeah, all looks good. Do you like this guy? Click like. Because I like it. This one is success. And I hopefully will be help repair your card if you need it. And if you go there, some artifacts, yeah, you see, it's repayable. Uh, for how long? Hard to say. Some of the cards can survive three months, some of the cards can survive another two, three years. I see that. Not a problem at all. Depends how bad it's been damaged. But anyway, guys, click like, subscribe, click like, subscribe, and go for the next card next time. Bye.